So let me ask you. Yeah. How long have you been doing this? This one is uh, the worrying and drawings or drawing itself? Both. Uh, the drawings uh, for worrying and since the, the show was cancelled. Uh, when all the phrases things started on Twitter and the uh, drawing itself since I was a kid. Not this style uh, started drawing <laughs> in a more normal way, uh, copying drawings and anime and stuff. And then I realized I don't have the patience <laughs> to draw <laughs> and I started doing the, the doodles. Uh, it's easier faster to do so i started with that and my friends uh, actually love them so i have a lot of drawings of my friends as a, as a characters for every christmas there's a card for halloween there's also a drawing and uh, it's been like that for at least 20 years so i have a lot of drawings of them and so do you do it all on computer or do you hand draw? Uh, I usually uh, started doing these kind of drawings on, on computer with my tablet. Um, but the Warrior Man's one are done by hand. Um, it started like I was uh, bored uh, one afternoon. And I thought, well, I'm going to draw <coughs> Ava like that. <clears throat> and I posted on Twitter and people like it. And okay, well, I'm going to try to do a, a couple more. I I draw more superior, I think, and I don't remember the other one. I don't know if it was B, but I started post posting them and I thought, well, people like these drawings. Uh, people interact with these drawings. Let's try to use that to make people tweet more. So I, st I started uh, making them to go with the phrases and it seemed to work for a while and people interact with, with them, people love, love at them, they love them. Mm -hmm. So it kept going for a while. <laughs> and so how did Carl come to be? <laughs> Carl, I don't remember. Uh, I said it was uh, not this kind of car, not the not a little Taras kind of car. It was the advice car, uh, that one that started off. And then I thought, well, I want to mix the little Ava type of character with the with the Taras. I need them to to be together in a in a drawing. And I thought, well, I have to draw the task in a cuter way so they mix better. And that's how Lil Taraskal <laughs> was born. And from them, from there, the, I started drawing other Tarask because I saw uh, on the show that there was a other Tarask apart from Carl, and they were different. They have different uh, horns, different uh, uh, back horns. Uh, I, I will explain later. Uh, even the the form of the their wings are a bit different, and people don't seem to realize that there's more than one type of tarask. They are like a different uh, puppies from the same mother, I think. And I, I thought it was funny, and that's uh, when I started to give them uh, their, their own personalities and uh, their own uh, characteristics uh, that you can recognize them. You can recognize Lisa for her, her, her sign and, and even the, the horns of the back uh, of her head. And you can recognize Edward for, her, for his horns. And you recognize Will for his for their cookies, and and people uh, took that and and have favorites. Uh, people uh, love Carl, but people love also Lisa, 
and I don't know how that happened because Lisa is, is a, it's a kind of uh, it's a way for me to be mad at Netflix. It's myself <laughs> on Lisa uh, in a way that I don't have to be mad, but uh, it it shows uh, like me or anybody else can be against them without being ourselves. And that's how they they started coming. And then I don't remember who asked me uh, to draw a whole battle between the Lil Tarasks and Adriel. And <laughs> that's how the whole family of, uh, I think there's uh, like 20. Hi, Gisela. <laughs> like, like 20, 21 Tarask uh, was born from there. And the naming, how did you come up with the names? I thought the, the Carl was uh, always from the start, Carl. Uh, I don't know who came out with the name. I don't remember, but it was Carl already at uh, the end of season one. Uh, and the other four, um, when I, I think it was after I draw them it's like staring at them and the it was uh, their names already like they were screaming at me their names and the other 15 or 16 uh, i ask people on on twitter to give me names and then i draw them according to those names so we want to do something like that today so people can have the, their own Tarask. Which one was the most drawing, fun drawing for you? Um, Lisa. Lisa was Lisa and Will are the most fun to draw. And Lisa is a, it's it's my baby, it's my one of my favorites uh, because of the sign. The the Netflix sign. It was uh a spur of the moment uh, thing and it, it stuck and people loved it. And, and I have to draw Lisa with that sign. So the, we have, we are here already 10 people. Hey, Kohosh. <laughs> I see people I know. Okay, so if you're ready, we can start. Hi, yeah, I'm Lena. Yeah. Hold on one second. Um, so, anybody that wants to change their view, go up to the upper right corner and you can do that. I am recording, but it's only um, Lena that's being recorded. So we can post it later. Okay, now go ahead. Okay. Okay. So I hope you have here um, pencil or uh, or your tablet if you prefer to draw on tablet. Uh, but I usually draw, yeah. <laughs> I usually draw uh, the little Tarask and all the the Warren and characters on here. You can see even here's the one of the last ones, the little Groot. Um, I have, this is the second one I have, and this is, I don't remember how many pages this has, like 50 pages. And I already am on the second one, second notebook for the drawings. And uh, you have to have in mind that they are small, very small, <laughs> small. See, little Ava. Um, so, you can make that count and uh, see how many drawings of Warrior Nun are right now. I have to count them so when, one of these days. Um, but uh, I think there might be like 200 already. I have to count them one day and I'll tell you. So as you can see, um, the, the, my drawings are done uh, by hand. Uh, with pencil and then with a with a pen, a black pen, and then I take a photo of them 
I don't even scan them because uh, it's faster to take a, a picture and uh, and upload it on my com computer. And then I'll give them some makeover on Photoshop, quick makeover to erase some lines, uh, some imperfections. But it's all done by hand. But today, because <clears throat> I'm going to be sharing the screen, I'm going to be drawing them on my tablet. Uh, one, simple one. It's not an iPad, not a fancy one. And I'll be using Photoshop. So if you want to use that, feel free. I want to see all your creations after the workshop. So if you want to share them on Twitter, make sure to, to mention me. So I'll share them later. I'm going to change the, the screen. I'm going to share my screen with uh, Photoshop. <clears throat> okay. Let me. We're, go we're going to start with the um, different parts of uh, Tarask. Uh, no, not Tarask, one we've seen in the show. If this wants to go, okay. For example, we have here Carl. This is Carl. This is uh, from season one, uh, episode uh, two, I think it is. And um, okay, here we can see it. Uh, well, let me see. Yeah, we want to use Carl. So we have um, the things I took from the uh, real task to draw uh, were the most significant uh, characteristics. It's the head, okay? I'm going to change the color to uh, red, okay? We have the head, okay? We have the head cords. You can see them in me. Here, okay. We have the back horns here, and here we have wings and uh, the body. Okay, and let me see the chat. <laughs> yeah, it seems uh, that people uh, didn't notice the difference between the the terrace, but. Um, we can see like Carl here has uh, these kind of horns. This is also Carl on uh, uh, episode five uh, before he kills <laughs> Lilith. And you can see here the, the side horns are a little spiky towards uh, up. And then the, the back horns like uh, not deer horns, but similar, okay? And these ones here on the face, okay? But then you have, for example, this one. This one is the one I based uh, Lisa on. You can see the horns are not upwards, but downwards. And the back horns are, are completely different. The faces are, are basically the same that they all have uh, the most uh, distinctive uh, characteristic are the both sets of uh, horns. So that's uh, what makes them different. If you pay attention, each one of them have different horns, even uh, different heights and uh, different kind of bodies. Um, maybe ones are a little more rounded, a uh, little more more square. Someone's talking. <laughs> and uh, that's uh, in what I based uh, my little task. So we're going to use uh, those characteristics uh, to draw our own task. Here you can see also this kind of horns. This is also cow. 
you can see the you can differentiate each task by the the horns. So let me. Let me check the chat. <laughs> okay, so let's start. I hope you have your pencils ready. I'm going to change the color. I don't like uh, drawing in red. So we start with uh, a pretty simple line. You, can. you don't need to think uh, how you want to draw the task. You can think, well, I want to draw a task with a more rounded face or uh, this kind of forms or these other kind of forms. Um, or I want it to be a girl or I want it to be a boy or I want it to be non-binary like Will. Um, or that can came later. Um, I didn't start drawing my terrace uh, thinking I want it to, to look like that. So if you want to draw something like Lisa, I draw her like that, something like that. Remember that I'm not used to draw them on my tablet, so I'm a bit rusty. One important thing uh, to draw anything, and you must remember this is one of the most important uh, characteristics on any drawing when you are drawing a face, um, it's the eyebrows. The eyebrows are the most important part of a drawing because the eyebrows uh, make the, the character uh, to, they can make them look angry, look happy, look surprised. Um, so that Taras usually are angry. So you draw like that, the eye. And then the mouth, uh, it must be something angry too. Horns. And the arms. Okay, that was easy. Let's start again and do it from the start. Okay, first step the face. You don't need to copy uh, what I'm doing. So if you want to draw a roundy face to ask, or a square face to ask, or even a triangle face to ask, feel free. Uh, it's going to be your baby. So you can draw them uh, whatever you want. But it must have personality. And you need that with each, uh, each uh, different uh, characteristics. <clears throat> so I'm going to do the basic task phase I always do. Then you draw a menacing mouth if you want. I'm going to erase this. The shape of the mouth, even if you think it uh, doesn't change uh, things a lot, they do. Okay, you can draw uh, a surprise mouse and uh, if you want to draw an, ag an angry mouse, you show teeth a little more. This is always angry, so she shows a lot of teeth. This would be the base of the face. Uh, then we have the eyes. Um, I don't know if you've noticed on uh, the different kind of drawings, the more um, realistic kind of drawing when you draw a face, you have to uh, take into account um, the age of the character. So you don't draw someone uh, older with uh, the eyes uh, lower 
uh, than the middle of the face because that makes the character look childish. So you can have someone looking a bit older, given that it's not uh, this kind of trouble. And you can have someone looking more childish. Okay. I don't know if you see the difference in the drawing, but it's like that. And then it's the same with the thorax. If you want a more uh, older thorax, you can draw the, the eyes a little bit higher. This would be like Edward, for example. And if you want to draw a more, more childish trust, you can draw the, the eyes lower. And that uh, works with any kind of drawing. With you, when you're drawing something, uh, even, I don't know, even if you want to draw yourself, uh, that works too. Uh, the eyes lower than the middle of the face, it's always, always going to make the character uh, childish. Okay, so we have, as I said, let me go back. You have now a basic looking face, but the most important part is the, the eyebrows. Also, with any kind of drawing, uh, the eyebrows um, can make the drawing look bad or look amazing, even if you are drawing something realistic. If you don't get the, the eyebrows right, it's not going to look uh, good. So the Tarasque are always angry, but they can also be confused, for example. If you want them to look confused, you can draw one eyebrow a little lower and the other one a little higher, and they look confused. You can draw the eyebrows really high and they look surprised. You can draw the eyebrows <clears throat> upside down and they look sad. And you can draw them um, stuck to the eyes, and they look angry, which is how usually they they look because Tarasca usually angry. Um, most of them, um, but not will. Will if you. If you take a look at Will, uh, they are always uh, happy. So they don't look like this, never. Uh, next step would be the side horns, the, the head, the front head uh, horns, okay? So we have uh, Lisa, usually I draw them like this because uh, I don't know. if you see here, uh, her horns are upside down. So I draw them like this. They don't have to look like the original stars. It's just taking some, um, some things similar to how they look. And then they have uh, some, not horns, but I draw them like horns or something like this on the side of the, the head, these ones. And I don't usually um, join the lines. I don't really like to join the lines uh, on the, the behind of the, the head, but you can do it if you think it looks better. And then behind the head, we have the the back head horns, I call them. And Lisa usually looks like this, like 
little angel wings. I like this. More spiky. Ah. Something like that. And then we have the body. Uh, here's, uh, you can draw them whatever you want. Um, you can make a uh, white uh, body. Because in the end, uh, the Tarask are, has half a uh, white body. But if you want to draw a Tarask like a noodle, I don't know if you remember noodle. Uh, let me see if I can show you. You're going to see all my. Yeah, I have this. I don't know if you can see this, but it's uh, my whole uh, collection uh, here. This is Harley, also known as a uh, noodle. As you can see, <clears throat> uh, he has a very narrow body and very spiky horns. But so you can draw the, the your own terrace, uh, whatever you want. You don't have to get normative and follow the original terrace form. <clears throat> and then you have the arms. It's very simple. You don't have to make perfect lines or uh, draw them with uh, claws or anything like that. You just need to give them arms. Uh, and if you want to give them something to hold, you have to have in mind that uh, and also the form of the body. When you give them something or you make them move in a certain way so you can draw an arm up like that and give your task a sign for example okay. that would be a very very but but don't uh lisa um but it has all the the steps I usually do. So if you want to draw an original task, you have to think about the form of the face, the form of the mouth. Yes. Right here. Usually they have um they show the teeth like that. Like it is. Then you have to think about <clears throat> how you want them to have the, the forehead forms. If you want them spiky or you want them looking downwards or if you want them straight. There's a lot of uh, kind of forms. Uh, I think Carl, I draw them like this. If you see, yeah. Carl has this kind of spiky, but not really uh, curved towards uh, up. So I draw them like something like this. And then you have uh, the back head horns. Uh, this is where you can go creative and uh, draw whatever you want. I've drawn uh, horns like. Uh, Carl, for example, has this kind of font. Uh, we have the wingy ones like Lisa. We can have also very, very wide fonts or ones like dear ones. Yeah. 
you can draw whatever whatever kind of forms uh, come into your mind. Uh, you are not restricted to to normative forms uh, like in the series. You don't need to follow uh, the basis uh, we have with those uh, five or six tasks uh, they gave us. So I I draw like I think I have twenty one right now. Uh, I haven't been drawing any any new task, but I should. So when you have, uh, you can have the name, for example, and draw the task uh, from that name and give the task the personality you think that name should have. Or you can go uh, first with the task and then give, and give, give the task a name. That's what I did first. So if you have, uh, let's see, let's draw a new task, okay? I'm going to go with uh, check this one. A little confused. And let's see. Let's go with slightly spiky font. Like this, like a little devil. I'm going to give the, this one like Two little holes here and another one here on the side. And another one here. And I'm going to give this one like a roundy, more, more roundy body. And for the back holes, uh, let's see. Let's make the, this one. You need space to draw the back holes because they are usually um, bigger than the terrace itself. So let's start with. Uh, let's see. Something like this. Have in mind that you have to draw the left horn the same as the <laughs> right horn. They have to look similar, which I know it's sometimes difficult. Something like that. Yeah. And then let's go the arms. Um, this one is a little bit sassy. And we need little wings behind. And we have a new task. So uh, given the way it looks, we need a name. And let's see. It could be Christian, for example. Or Let's make it a girl. Let's call it Madeline. It's going to be Matt. Oh, Matt. Okay, we have Matt here. So, how are you doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't say, yeah. It's difficult to duplicate the, the same on each side. Uh, I, if you look at my drawings, they don't look exactly the same. You have to copy one side with the other to look exactly the same. Um, but well, yeah, it gives them personality and maybe they, they are a little bipolar or something. You can, we can have a, a task that doesn't that has uh, different sides? For example, I have. Um, <clears throat> let me look for him. Ah, here, Tiberius. We have 
uh, old Tiberius here uh, has lost a horn. Yeah. And that gives him uh, his personality. He's an old war better. And you can have that. Uh, or if you want uh, a task that uh, was born uh, different from the others, uh, we can have a task with no horns or a task uh, with uh, different back horns. Uh, it can happen in real life, so it can happen to the task. Uh, as I said, they don't have to be normative, they can be uh, representational of even yourself. Uh, so we can draw, yeah, let's draw around the task. Let's make this one a little harder. If you lift up, a little the the mouth it looks uh, it makes the drawing look happier okay this is starting to look like will <laughs> we are not drawing will so like this and let's make let's do a new kind of forms Something on it. Um, let's make a big one here. And if you don't want to draw the same uh, forms uh, behind the hair, you can do one something like this, and then something straighter. Like it wasn't. This side uh, wasn't uh, de developed uh, equally to the other side. Let's put it that, that way. So le le there's people who is born uh, with without an arm, for example. So we can draw just one arm or a little arm. Um, <clears throat> and we have we. This one wins. So we have a different kind of task. So you can draw them the way you think they have to be. Um, you can draw a representation of yourself in the task. You can draw <clears throat> even, I don't know, look at your cat or your dog and draw them as, as a task, for example. Uh, <clears throat> let's see, I have a, a, a cat, so she's uh, small, feisty. <clears throat> let's make the horns like little ears, this. Okay. Let's keep a uh, horn. And she's, she's feisty, so. Let's fight the cones like this. And she's very thin, so something thin. And little marks. And weeks. And you have your pet, like a task, for example. <laughs> Okay, I want to see all your creations later, so I don't think any of them are messed up. Uh, the the thing about them, uh, about drawing uh, a doodle like this, like a little, little task or any other little character that I've done, is that they aren't perfect. They, they don't, I don't think they are good drawings. So you you can mess up something that it's not good uh, as a base. So I want to see them all, okay? <clears throat> and the same, the same basis you can apply to drawing um, any kind of doodle. Uh, let me change the side. Um, 
for example, uh, Lil Ava, uh, which is the one I draw the most. Um, she doesn't look always the same, okay? Because it's difficult to make uh, each drawing look the same every single time. And, uh, and even less when you draw in, you're drawing them by hand. Uh, you are not, uh, or at least myself, I'm not using the, the tablet or the, the iPad that is, it straightens your lines and make them look uh, more professional. So um, when I draw little Ava, I start with a simple base. And then I got to draw her uh, usually with uh, bangs because I like that look better. But uh, I've drawn uh, I've drawn the Ava with uh, the short hair uh, also, but change the bangs over one side. Usually the the hair uh, right side, my left side. The the little ponytail and little Ava usually looks uh, childish so if you remember uh, the eyes are very low on the face the lower the eyes are on the face the childish it will look so let's change that a little and usually very big eyes. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but I draw B with more uh, with more little eyes uh, in comparison. Uh, if you look uh, at other drawings, I don't know if it's to make her look more Asian, uh, but it's to make her look different. Okay, so we were with Ava. She's usually happy. So you draw the eyebrows uh, really high. And she's always smiling. And then uh, Lil Ava's uh, body, um, also the head, uh, the side of the head, um, makes the drawing look um, more cartoony, more childish. If you draw the body uh, thinner and smaller, it, it looks more like a child, okay? Because the head looks big. So let's Make something in the middle. And then the clothes. As you can see, everything, it's simple. They, they are simple lines, uh, very easy to, to draw. You just have to remember um, how to put them on the drawing. This looks really bad. Let me go back. And um, when I draw a little character like this, I started doing uh, just um, the noodle arms. <clears throat> I call them like this. I, I actually prefer to draw them like this because they are they are cuter and faster to, to make them. But if you want them to hold something, uh, they need hands. So these kind of arms don't have hands. So you have to add normal arms so they can have, for example, a sword.
And we have Lil Ava. A very patron Lil Ava. <laughs> and you can apply that to every single character uh, on the show. Um, for example, uh, Mother Superior, um, it's really easy to draw because uh, you don't even have to draw hair. You just have to draw the nan of it, which is very simple to draw. And we have <laughs> a cute mother superior there. Perfect. Time to look at the chat. <laughs> now I want to see I want to see that little Ava Olivia. Quiero verla. <laughs> so as you can see, they they are drawings that uh, five year old uh, control. You just need some directions how to start. We start with the face, and you can make the face whatever you want. Then the mouth. The bigger you draw the mouth, the angrier it can look. And you don't even need to close the lines. As I said, I sometimes I don't really like closing the lines. You can make them really mad. The lower the the eyebrows, the madder the the character will be. Like this, like a little devil. And then make this kind of horns. This is looking a little like Carl uh, right now. And um, let's make something different here. See you whatever you have in mind for the horns, you can draw them. You can uh, look at uh, animal horns, for example, uh, like, uh, let's see. Like these, like rhino horns, like this on the side. Or, you can even uh, not give them the forehead horns, for example. They don't have ears, or give them little ears, or give them a couple of horns. Whatever you, whatever kind of uh, characteristics cross your mind, or if you have a name like Caesar, and you think that Caesar should look um, badass with uh, with a scar, big scar to its face, and spiky horns, big spiky horns, Um, spiky back horns, for example, like these. And one big rhino horn at the front, like this. And wanted to punch somebody. <laughs> You can draw. This is Caesar, for example. 
remember the eyebrow that makes him look angrier? And we have another choice. So, how's it going? Tell me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna ask and I was to be. <laughs> I can try to, yeah, four, okay. Do you want me to show it's the mouth? Yeah. I I struggle with the, the mouth until I realized uh, the the side of the mouth and how high you draw it uh, change the, the changes the faces of the glass. That's how will uh, happen. Because uh, I'm going to open Will. Uh, what is Will? Yes. Because somehow <laughs> this big mouth uh, gave uh, them uh, that little happy face, and I couldn't change it. And so Will happened, and, and they like cookies, and they like to make people happy. And it's uh, it's everybody's friend. So you can have a task tar like that. It's just, as I said, um, sometimes you have first the name and then the, the task, how it looks, or you have the drawing done and then you look at it and the the same drawing tells you the its name so that's how will uh happen uh they look at me like with that face uh with uh, the little horns uh backwards and that big smile and it's came uh, cookies <laughs> cookies for everyone Okay, Livia, Olivia is sharing something. It's not. <laughs> That's amazing. It looks like a gladiator. One thing, um, as you can see, I never paint uh, my drawings, uh, the, the doodles. I never, barely never paint them. I have a couple of them painted for the because they needed to be painted like the how to train your dragon dragon uh, one because I needed <clears throat> toothless to be to be black so I needed to paint little Ava too um, but the warrior and doodles I barely never paint them uh, somehow uh, I uh, sometimes I paint uh, the uh, weapons like I did with the Buffy one, because I need to highlight um, uh, that, uh, that, has that specific characteristic. But I have, I've done uh, drawings before uh, the Warren on ones with color. With uh, I usually paint it with color. For example, um, I have a previous Warren on one. Uh, this one when season one uh, was done it's all color uh, and it's uh, more detailed uh, more um, realistic uh, looking but that uh, I kind of love the doodles more and they don't need to be painted they, uh, I only painted them with uh, to look at controllers. For example, this one, as you see, it needed to be painted because toothless is uh, black, so it needed to be done. So I had to paint Lil Averton, and it looks completely different. And I normally do. Uh, 
won't draw the feet. I don't like drawing feet. And as you can see, I let me uh, close this. I never draw feet. I don't like them. And you don't need to draw feet unless uh, you have to show the feet. Like if <clears throat> Ava is uh, levitating, then you need to draw the feet because uh, otherwise it will look like a ghost. Hey, that little Ava looks great. Okay, I <laughs> I just realized this. I forgot. Some part of the hair on the table. What was that, Adrian? I didn't see. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Some someone asked me the other day. Uh, why I didn't draw robots. That's pretty great. That's amazing. <laughs> they labor with money. Um, <laughs> I want to I want you to to put all those drawings later on Twitter. <laughs> Please, I want to share them. Okay, so um, that grass looks a little bit sad. <laughs> so, as I said, Abrams are uh, really important to give uh, your task a uh, uh, um, so someone asked me the other day why I didn't uh, draw bots, uh, robots, uh, when everything <laughs> with the bots started. Um, I haven't tried, honestly. Um, let's try now. It's You can apply everything I've told you. Uh, but with more square lines, uh, robot lines. So we can draw a robot task, for example. So let's make a square face. Square now. Uh, backwards. Square eyes, for example. Uh, for the side horns, let's try. Like a short for example. And um, for a body, also square body. You can draw little lights like that. And you can even give them Spiky wings. Yeah, that's a uh, Dr. Who reference. Um, everything you look, you make look um, square, uh, it's going to be kind of robotic. So you can apply that to every single drawing you want to make. 
你另外出桌啊。And I forgot a little bit part. It's not important because I usually forgot to draw them. But if you look at the at the original test, let's see if I can show here. Cup. Okay. Uh, also, the rest has has um forms here on the side on the shoulders. You can draw them or you can ignore them. Uh, but if you want to draw them, you can draw them here and just like that, or maybe just one, a little bit spiky, and that's all. You can draw every single spike you want. Um, as I said, there's not a limit here to what you can draw or can't. <laughs> and I think that would be all. I, I don't have anything else to teach you. I told you how to draw from zero uh, your own task. You can even draw your own little characters from the show or for from any show you want. I have this kind of drawings, not the doodle kind, but uh, this kind of uh, simple, um, childish looking drawings for um, a bit, well, I don't know, three or four shows, different shows. And I have the, <clears throat> the Crusaders with the Warrior character also. So if you want to draw these kind of drawings for, let's say, I don't know, Willow, for example, uh, you can do them. You're free to do them. You can can uh, expand your creativity with this. And I want to see every single drawing you you do from now on. And of course, I want you to um, mention me if you put these ones uh, you've done today on Twitter. And I'll share them all on my profile to show how great students you are. And I'm going to make a screenshot of this later, so I'll share it too. So I'm going to stop the screen sharing, OK? Or you want me to draw anything else? You have any questions? <laughs> Thank you, Wolfie. Okay, I'm closing this. Okay. So, any questions? Anything else? Welcome for being here. Thank you all for, for being here and for wanting to, to hear me for an hour straight. I have to say, you make it look a lot easier than it is. <laughs> but I had fun. I was actually surprised that some of them turned out looking halfway decent. Yeah. So thank you so much for taking the time and um, we will um, get this on the website soon. If anybody wants their drawing on the actual Warrior Nine website, tag the OCS newsletter when you when you tag Lena with your drawing. Yeah. We'll share I would like you to do a um, and Kohash mentioned it too. Um, like maybe like a breakdown of your character or the different trask, like how you start at the beginning, like showing the different horns. Maybe you could do like a thread or we could do a blog post showing how each one are different because I didn't know all the details. Yeah. So 
All right, I'm going to stop the recording now.